Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 16 of my code refactoring tutorial. Today, I'm going to use a question one of you guys sent to me, and I'm going to show you how to move embellishments using the decorator pattern. Okay, so what you see on your screen is a bad way to add functionality. One of you guys sent me this code here, and it's basically set up to calculate the price of a haircut based off of using an enumeration here. And if they want a basic cut, a perm, or a hair frosting, it's going to automatically shoot out a description of the service and as well it is going to calculate prices and so forth and so on and the way this program is set up is every single time we add a new haircut option or we change a price or we do anything we're gonna have to go into this gigantic method here and try to change everything that is bad and this is bad because whenever we add new features it is always a bad idea to add new code to older classes and each time you would do so what you're doing is making compact easy to understand classes complicated because you are breaking the single responsibility principle which is that every class should have a single responsibility now I'm going to use the decorator pattern instead to replace all these special case behaviors or embellishments as they're called and I'm going to put those behaviors into their own class also by using the decorator pattern we're we're going to be able to satisfy another solid principle which is something people keep asking me about and that principle being the interface segregation principle by using many specific interfaces using the decorator pattern rather than one general purpose interface we're going to be able to satisfy that solid principle so let me just go in here and completely delete all of this code and let's start doing it the right way so let's just come in here and we are going to be programming to an interface and it is going to be haircut and this is a general way to teach the decorator patterns this is why it probably came up in the class and what we're gonna do here is get description and get cost so those are going to be two of the methods that we are going to need for interface and to create everything here now I'm going to create the decorator and what it's going to allow me to do is add features while keeping them completely separated into their own class so I'm gonna go abstract class and I always try to fit decorator into the name and this is going to implement haircut and then inside of this I'm going to put a haircut field and then the decorator will be, will be able to dynamically customize all of my haircuts for me as you're gonna see here this is a very neat pattern so haircut decorator and it is going to be passed a haircut object whenever it is created and then I'm just gonna grab this guy right here and throw him in there well first I gotta come in here and go haircut is equal to hair cut of course now I'm gonna be able to throw the description in there and I'm gonna also throw the cost in there of course and there we are and all the code is available in a link underneath the video to help you learn this stuff so now what this is going to do is it's going to take the haircut object that's up above and stick with me here because this gets really neat really quick and it is going to return that description and then down here for cost it's going to return haircut get cost and there we are see nice simple neat methods very very simple very very easy to understand now what I want to do is I want to represent the most basic type of haircut and this haircut's going to be used every single time before an upgrade to one of the other options just as we are seeing here everybody is going to get a haircut so I'm just gonna call this regular haircut and it's going to implement haircut just like before and I'm gonna come in here and have it add unimplemented methods for me and then inside of here I'm just going to return exactly what it is going to do so this is just gonna be trim hair like that nice and simple and the cost is going to be ten dollars for a basic haircut there we go very easy to understand precisely what is going on there now with the decorator we're going to be able to easily add additional features as well as calculations without changing the code that already exists 
So every single we add a new feature or every single time we add a new cost, no problem. We're just going to come in here and create ourselves a new class. So if we want to do a perm, which is just rolling hair in rollers here, add constructor for me. And then this, of course, is going to pay reference to haircut, which is inside of my decorator. See that guy right there. So I'm going to pay reference to that over and over again. And then I'm going to come down inside of here and just create my descriptions. So get description just like before. And this guy is going to return haircut, get description. So if we're going to be adding multiple different options for haircuts, we're going to do that. So for a perm, we're going to add chemicals and put hair in rollers. I, I am just literally typing exactly what was in the code. So I don't know how to do perms. I suppose that's how you do them. Okay, so public. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing for cost. So get cost. And here we're just going to be returning haircut, get cost. And this is going to be the haircut that was defined in the haircut decorator. And let's say a perm cost $75. Well, there we go. We got that all set up. And that is all we need to do. I mean, we can, of course, add more classes, but we don't need to. So I'm going to come in here and go test haircut real simple. And inside of my main function, if I want to create a new haircut, I just go haircut. And let's say they want a perm and a cut. No problem. We're going to go new. And then we're going to go perm, which is going to be the extra added on thing. And then finally, whenever we get to this part, regular haircut is always going to be done. So great. There that is. So this is the added embellishment, the added feature. That is what's going to be in the outmost part. And then the core program is going to be the final object that we create inside of there. So that's how that's set up. And then let's say we want to do something like services. I don't know. And then if we want to output our description of the services, no matter how many of these embellishments are added on, no problem. They're going to do all of them. Just do that. And then if we want to calculate our price, no problem. It's going to add all of our prices for us. It's going to add everything up, no matter how many of these we put in here. Get cost. And there we are. So let's execute it, see if I did it right. And there you can see services, permanent haircut. We're going to trim the hair, which is the basic guy that we implemented here for regular haircut. And you can see regular haircut is this object that we created inside of there. And then whenever we come down to perm, it's going to add chemicals and put hair in rollers. And then it's going to add up the price for both services. This can be implemented and used in numerous different ways. It's an absolutely fabulous design pattern. Please leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.